Good morning, it's your island girl, Oceana, and I just wanted to shoot this quick little video because I just ran across this great little article called Work-Life Balance. If these people can do it, you can too. So the article is from, I'm sorry, Business News Daily, and it chronicles um, the stories of five different people and how they've achieved work-life balance. The hilarious part about this whole article is that none of these people have jobs. So I think that the story is very telling, right? So, I mean, I worked corporate America 15 years. And to be honest with you, it is a soul sucking way to live. I can't tell you the number of times that I wasn't able to go to my kids school play I totally flubbed my daughter's eighth grade dance because I couldn't be there to you know do her hair the way that I wanted to have it done I, I had to do a rush job because my job was so demanding and I just had to be there to fix whatever stupid problem was going on at the time you know the whole concept of work-life balance in corporate America doesn't exist. And the reason why it doesn't exist is because corporate America does not trust its employees. And you can, you can debate this all day, but at the end of the day, if they trusted you, why do you go into work every day? If you do your job, if everybody did their job and they trusted you to do your job, What's the difference from you doing your job at your job or from home or anywhere in the world? And that's the lesson that I got from the article because the one, the first story is about a doctor who started his own business and how his coworkers support him in his endeavors and his wife, obviously, I hate to be like this, but <laughs> you know, you can't you can't do it all right everybody needs some help somebody has to wash the wash the clothes and all that other nonsense but um the other story is about a woman who was 30 years old twenty four thousand dollars in debt and she worked her butt off she worked four different jobs for 18 months became sold everything okay bought a ticket to india and became a full-time blogger and at 33 She's a freaking success story. She goes around the world house sitting and doing whatever the hell she wants to do. I don't know about you, but that lifestyle sounds nice to me. Look, you can do things one of two ways. You can do what society wants you to do, which is work basically until you're ready to go into a coffin and hopefully have a couple years to you know, live the life that you want to live because other, other than that, they're fear-mongering you into saving every penny that you have for this inevitable retirement and how well do you want to live in retirement and no one ever discusses the fact that what happens if you get to retirement and you can't walk or you can't do the things that you want to do. I'm not trying to wait. I started blogging. I'm retired having the time of my life last night me and my kids we just sat around goofing around about you know different stuff on TV and you know just being silly and it was great because I didn't I didn't worry about what time I had to get up the next day because guess what if it if I'm exhausted I take a fucking nap my time is my own you want to own your time you want to have the life you want to have read the article Learn the lesson and start blogging. Let's get it done. I'll talk to you later.